Hello everybody, or docs you'll hear, welcome back to a brand new video guys. This is part 6 of our how to create a discord bot in python. In this video we are going to be making 4 new commands, a clear, kick, ban, and unban command. So basically just 4 simple uh, moderation commands that a lot of bots have implemented. Um, we are going to be creating all four of these commands in our COG today. Uh, it's obviously not very different if you're going to do it in your main file, but we are going to be doing it in a COG today. So to get started, we're going to obviously um, put in our decorator commands. Command. And then we're going to add a new decorator. And basically what this decorator is going to do is it's going to make sure that the user running the command actually has the needed permissions to uh, do so. So to do that we're going to type commands.as underscore permissions. And then we're going to make our clear command first. So we want the user to have manage uh, messages set to true in order to actually... Um, be able to run this command so we want to make sure that the user has the permissions to do this so we're going to uh, type in manage store messages and we'll set that to true so basically now what this decorator on line 12 says is basically okay if this user running the command has these permissions then i will execute the command for them so this is just a simple check to make sure they actually have the permissions. And then we can go ahead and create our clear command. So since we're in our talk, we're going to pass in self, of course, and then ctx for context. And then we um, specify the amount as an argument for how many messages you want to pass in. So we're going to type in count. If you want to type in amount or... Uh, message count messages and I'm gonna type in account just I'm gonna type in count just because that is my preference but the main um, part of it is needs to be an integer so make sure at least it looks something like that minus the name the name can be whatever it wants just make sure it is an integer argument once you do that we can go ahead and add our colon at the end and indent and then we can go ahead and type in await ctx.channel.purge, which means to delete. And then limit, we're going to set that equal to count the amount that the user specifies. So this is pretty much it for our clear command. Just to show you that it works, I will run the bot real quickly to um, run it, just to prove that it does work. So I'm going to spam a little bit more right here. And let's see, this is about, about 12, 13 messages. So I'm going to type in clear 10. And upon typing that in, as you can see, the bot does uh, clear the messages. And if you want to, I don't know, let's say give a, a small confirmation message, you can just type in ctx.channel, I mean ctx.send, sorry. We can type in f string, and we can type in count messages. Have been Go ahead and just run this again. Type in clear five. Should clear, and it should also send a message. Yep, it's right here. I was wondering where it went for a minute. Just a bit slow today, I guess. So as you can see, it says five messages have been cleared. So now that we've do, done that, we can go ahead and just kill the bot. And then we can go ahead and type in our new command, which is going to be our kick command. So again, command stop command. And then at command stop as underscore permissions. Now at this time we want to make sure the person is actually able to kick members. So we're gonna type in kick members. We're gonna make we're gonna set that equal to true. 
so that way if they're able to kick a member then the command will be uh, ran and if not it just won't do anything after that we can go ahead and type in a sync def click and then inside we're going to type in cell cts and then member put a colon discord member just like that and then a reason or we can type in moderies of Moderns. Yeah, we can type in mod reason. Basically, this, for an example, if I want to, to kick my own bot, as you can see, it asks for a reason. Uh, we're going to put that as an argument in our bot, so that way the bot will put in that reason. So after that, um, we can just type in await ctx.kill.kick. And then we can pass in and if we want we can add a confirmation message so I'm going to type in comp embed set that equal to this for embed make that look a little bit nicer doesn't really affect anything with syntax but it just looks more nice and we can just make the title and call it success plus spelling errors today sorry guys this color green embed dot add score field name Gosh, what am I doing today, guys? Alright, let me just type up the kit. Value, set that equal to our F string, and then member got mentioned has been kicked from the server by ctx.author. Or actually no, we're going to um, put in our reason ourselves. We're gonna make our inline set to false, by the way, so our embed looks nice and uh, linear from top to bottom. <clears throat> Excuse me. Add underscore field name is reason. Value set that equal to batteries. and then our inline we're going to set to false. Wait, CTX send embed. So after that, we are pretty much done with our kick command. Now to make our band command, this is really just copy and paste. Of course, you want to make sure uh, this is band members set equal to true, and this is guild.band. Change up the font embed a bit, or your confirmation message, so it actually matches the command you are running. Change the command um, function itself. So, yeah. Basically, same thing as the kick, just make sure the function is called ban, make sure it's ban members and not kick members up here. Just make sure everything matches so it looks nicer, and you're pretty much done. Now, if I want to go ahead and make our unban command, that won't be very hard at all. So, it is a little bit different. Um, it's just... I'm not really sure why it has to be written this way, but if you've written it like ctx.guild.unban and then pass in member, it just passes out and basically acts like it doesn't know what you're talking about, which it makes sense because why would you try to unban a member if that person that's banned is no longer a member? So it doesn't really make sense when you think about it, which is probably why the computer doesn't know what you're doing. But basically, we're just gonna. 
command stop command and run stop command name set it equal to unban and commands dot build only it's underscore only not dot so just like that and then commands dot has permissions uh it's up here Band members again. Band members through. Because banning and unbanning a person takes in band members permission. So this these two are the same right here. Now we're gonna actually make in or actually gonna make our unbanned command slur and type in async f unbanned. Sorry guys. Self ctx then user id so after that i'm going to type in user equals it's score dot object and id is equal to user id so it is a bit different and it can be confusing, but this is what we have so far. So we have commands.command .command, like we're supposed to, and the name is going to be unban. It's going to be only for, it's going to be just for the guild only. And then obviously you want to have the permissions in order to run the command. We don't want some random member just unbanning and banning people. And then we're, and then we're going to have the user pass in a user ID as an argument. And then it's going to create a new variable called user, set it equal to an object for Discord, which is going to take in user ID the argument. So after that, we can type in await ctx.guild.unban and then user. Excuse me. <laughs> so just like that, that's how we. Um, unban a person and of course if you want to add in a confirmation embed just to let you know that they're unbanned you can unban what the heck am i doing you can get rid of the reason it doesn't really matter so something to keep a note of even if you just were to type in um User dot mention it's going to uh, spaz out. So instead, we're just going to type in user ID, and then if we want to mention them, we're going to type in a um, greater than sign and at sign. And at the end of these curly brackets or braces, we're going to type in a less than sign. And then we can just type in unbanned here, and then. The CTX .author mention is the same. So after that, we're pretty much done now. Uh, this is our unbanned command. So we're going to test all three of the uh, other commands now. So we're going to go ahead and run our bot. And uh, basically what I have done is I've uh, invited Me6 to my server. And I'm going to test my commands on them. So first we're going to kick me six and then we're gonna give it a reason test reason. so if i go ahead and uh, uh kick him there we go hmm that's weird i'm not sure why it, uh, it's only putting that in as our reason but it kicked them huh i wonder what oh I know why. We need to put an asterisk here. That is why it, um... That's why it, it, the reason was structured like that. I think it's because I needed to put an asterisk there. Oh well. Don't worry about that now. So, I'm gonna go ahead and... Reload this so I can actually invite him. But as you can see, uh, Me6 is no longer in my server. As you can see... My server is no longer on here, so I'm gonna put invite them back. House of code, authorize. Uh, I'm 
on a tree. Okay. I hate these things. Containing a chicken on a tree. Alright. Alright. Should be good. So I think we now invited it back. Yep. So now it's back. So our kick command work. Now we want to ban it. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in ban. B6. Stupid bot. Go I'm not sure why it's only taking that in. I mean, I guess you don't have to have very long reasons at all. So, yeah. But now if we were to go look in our bands list. So... Go look here in bands. Yep, Me6 is in. Now it's unbanned Me6. Now the thing with um, unbanning Me6 is if, you, if you're if you somehow able to type in its uh, mention you can do that, however, the best course of action is just getting the ID from ban entry and then typing on ban like that, and then it works perfectly. So that's just about it. Now if we were to go ahead and look back in our unban or back in our bans list, as you can see, Me6 is no longer banned. So that means we did unban Me6. So that's just about it for this video. We went over creating a clear command, a kick command, a ban, and unban command. Uh, all pretty easy stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, as always, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.